Hello everyone, welcome to the Jerome Bee Farm. Coming to you today from inside the uh, Bee Farm tiny home where we live. And uh, got some grandkids here helping us out today. We got Cameron and Dayton from Hi. Ryan, Oklahoma. Do you know who was born in Ryan, Oklahoma? Besides you? Mm. Chuck Norris. Did you know that? No. No? Did you know Chuck Norris was born in Ryan, Oklahoma? Nope. Do you know who Chuck Norris is? Okay. Walker, Texas Ranger. Yeah. Okay. Anyway. How old are you, Cameron? 11 years old. 11? How long you been 11? I just turned 11 this year. Okay. Cool. <laughs> How old are you? Seven. Seven? How long you been seven? Uh, three years. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, that's quite a long time to be seven. Anyway, how y'all like school at Ryan? It's pretty good. Pretty good? good. Okay. Y'all yeah. ready to uh, extract some honey? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Are you going to help me? Yes. So what's important about extracting honey? We keep our hands clean. Keep your hands clean. Right. Yeah. And we clean up everything real good when we're done. And then we're going to, what, bottle it up? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to get started. Uh, Cameron Dayton's going to help out here. And uh, hopefully they learned something about honey. So let's get going. Okay, here's the boxes that we collected this weekend. We have one deep here with nine frames. And it is packed full. Prior video, I weighed that and it was uh, 75.6, I believe. It was over 75 pounds. And we have five medium honey supers. Uh, four of them are completely full. Uh, this one here has five frames that are full in it, I believe. So this is what we're going to work on. These are the boxes we're going to collect and take them in there and extract the honey out of these frames. Okay, this is the extractor we're going to be using. This is a, it says SAF on it, I believe and this is from brushy mountain it's a nine frame radial extractor so what radial extractor means is the frames go in here this direction instead of being flat so you don't have to reverse the frames every time uh, that you're done spinning one side to spin the other out it does both sides at the same time we have a down here by the honey gate this is where the honey comes out we have a two-stage filter here stainless this is the coarse this is the fine it goes into this five gallon bucket that has a spigot there on the bottom and this is what we use to bottle with so when this one gets full we've got a couple more five gallon buckets if we need them all uh, to put the honey in this is our decapping station this is where we bring the frames in you set them a long ways here on this nail and when you cut the the cappings off the cappings all fall down here and the honey drips off through this grate down into the bottom and there's a honey gate on the front that you can uh, get the honey out of there this is some uh, food grade grease that we put in the bottom of the extractor uh, there's a bearing down there in the bottom and it has to be greased before you use it each time the honey doesn't flow in that area it goes around it but to still we use food grade grease to get the cappings off use an electric heated knife and where this won't reach use this little gadget here i don't know what it's called manual decapper but that's what we use so that's basically it Let's get started now. Okay. Put it on there like that. Mm -hmm. And you just cut it down. It helps if you move it back and forth a little bit like that. So see how it's not getting everywhere? So we use that other thingy. Oh my Give me that little green thing, please. 
You just go underneath those caps like that and lift them off. They can get a little closer to Papa. Okay. There. There you go. Now watch it. Got some right there. Just like that. Boom. I mean, you're going to sell a whole bunch of honey. Like, well, I don't know. We're kind of selfish with it sometimes. Mm -hmm. Mimi eats it all. She don't let anybody have it. I'm likely getting all my honey. <laughs> okay. If I hadn't been selfish this past fall, we wouldn't have been. Okay, I'll hold this. You do that. Make it go back and forth. There you go. Now, go back up. There you go. Here, you can't see what's going on. Nope. Turn it that way. Huh, Keep it on the wood. Honey everywhere. I like that. You're getting it, Getting it? Yeah. How's it doing, Papa? It's doing good. Okay, set the knife down there. Did we get it all? Still got some on it down here. Here, go underneath it like this. See? Mm hmm Do those along there. Get this direction. There you go. Like that. Mm. See? Yeah. Like bottles? that. Are we putting them in the bottles tonight or tomorrow? Like that. Oh. Tonight. Oh. Can you see what you're doing? Yeah. Probably not. It's kind of. Yeah. It's fun getting hot. Every time. Uh, it's okay. Move it right back up where you were and he's, bring it on down. He's losing his grip. Hopefully, he's having a hard time. But I don't know why it's at angle. It needs to be like turned. Got it? Yeah. Holy cow, that's a whole bunch of honey. Holy cow, look at all of it. Get the edge going there, like that. Oh. Is it not sticking out far enough? No, it's working. Let's get it started and then you can take it from there, okay? Oh, yeah, it's doing good. This one's kind of skinny. We're going to have to use the manual thing. Okay. Okay. This side is too. Yep. All right. I'll get that side for you. Okay. Oh, this one will work good. Here. This that side's fat. Oh, that's a good you see it? Oh man, look at that. He's not where he can see it, Papa. He's, got, he's behind it. Come over here, kind of lean this way. There you go. You got it? Yeah. <laughs> it's sliding. Sliding on my hands. Almost Whoa. done. Boom. Got it. That came right off. It came yeah, right it off. Did. That There's side was easy. Side right there. Yeah, I'll we'll yeah. see if I can get it. Okay. I'll stand on the stool. <laughs> <laughs> the reason it's like that, there was a fat one next to it. Oh. And they <laughs> maybe, and they couldn't uh, draw it out all all the way thick.
get another bucket. Okay, here's our first uh, five gallon bucket full. We finished uh, two mediums and six, two medium supers and six deep frames so far in this extractor to do a deep frame. It's not a radial extractor to do deeps. It's a, t a tangential uh, extractor. So you put them in that way and you have to take them out, rotate them to do the other side. So fortunately these are plastic frames, so don't blow out as easy as if it's all wax. So there we go, there's our first five gallons. I'm going to put the lid on that and uh, set that out and let it rest. Okay, we're going to weigh this uh, five gallon bucket of honey here. I'm just going to tear it to zero. Take a little bit off for the weight of the bucket. Fifty pounds even. So I don't know what that bucket weighs. Probably a pound. So there's the first one. Five gallons for 2018. Woohoo! We still have this much to go. So I got three deep frames left and uh, three supers. And I think those supers are packed. Those first two I did. Uh, one was like half full and the other was probably 75%. So I think these three are full, full. It's not even as thick as it was, man. I mean, uh, yeah. Okay, here's... Five gallons number two. Okay, let's do the weigh in. This one felt heavier. Yeah. 55.8 pounds. With the bucket. Okay, this is a uh, third five gallon bucket. And our last nine frames are in there spinning right now. Which most of that honey there, probably about half of it came from what's in there spinning now. Okay, we're going to weigh this third one here. Five point two, and that fourth bucket is not going to have maybe I don't know two or three inches in it, so it's not going to be full like these. Okay, here's the hole. We got fifteen full gallons, and this one here still straining a little bit out, but you can see down in there, it's about. I'd say a fourth full. Let's do a quick weigh on that. Uh, 
It's got that strainer in it. There's a little bit of honey in that strainer though. So we had, I think that was 50, 56, and 55. So that's 110, 160, 70, 80. Around 180 pounds minus the tear weight of the buckets and that strainer. So that's the most we've had at the Jerome B. Farm and Homestead. So these are food grade buckets if anybody was wondering about that well good morning it's the next day we were up till uh, 1 30 a.m. finishing these off and I pulled the honey supers over here away from our door and my lens is fogging up a little bit but uh, They found this pretty early. I was actually surprised to see them out here. just full of bees and the smell of honey they'll have this cleaned up by the end of the day we'll get them back on the hives don't move <laughs> stop moving hold still you gotta hold real still you don't either he's killing you because if you move it'll make you look like a gremlin <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Take one. 